What's up guys, this is Casey and I want to bring you a uh, quick tutorial for Blender. I'm using 2.7, not like it matters, I don't think it does. Anyways, <clears throat> I just want to show you a quick trip. This is a cube and I'm just going to add a subdivision surface modifier. And as you can see, it has deformed my cube, made it into almost a sphere. So, I want to show you how to combat this. If I go into edit mode, deselect everything with A. What I want to do is I want to select two vertices. Hold on, I want to get this thing out of my way. Okay. <clears throat> I want to select two vertices, which is giving me this whole entire edge. Now, what I want to do is I want to go to mesh, edges, go up, and edge crease. Now at first glance, nothing has happened. You'll see in the bottom left hand corner where it says crease plus, if I start moving that to the right, and keep moving it to the right, oh, there it goes. See it's starting to change. Once I get that to one, I want to hit my enter, or click in on my mouse, and I just want to do that again for each of these edges. So I'm going back up here, edge crease, to one. There's a lot of times where you won't have a lot of geometry in your model and you're going to want to add geometry for texturing on materials so what you're going to have to do is add a subdivision surface modifi modifier but it's going to completely deform your entire model and you don't want that so this is how you solve that by edge creasing so that you can keep the shape of your model exactly the way that you want it but have all the advantages of added geometry added faces, added vertices anything that's going to help you if you want to deform it um, if you want to reshape it okay I have half of it here that's probably good enough I don't know that I can edge crease everything at the same time I can try. Let's see. Edge crease. Ah, look at that. That was easier than I thought. <laughs> we learned together today. Anyways, let me deselect that. Now, what I want to show you, if I go back into here, let's see. Ha! As you can see, I now have more vertices obviously because I haven't subdivided them it's really not gonna make a, a huge difference but I can up that if I want to give three four five and six and there's all the vertices that you need while only having to deal with four vertices on the outside let's say I want to deform or displace that off. There you have it. Let me apply my rotation and scale. Okay, everything's still the same. Let me turn this down to maybe like a 0.05. There we go. I can smooth shade it. And there we go. So there you have it. So this has been an intermediate blender tutorial brought to you by Casey.